Tona's just released a brand new cargo bike. Let's check it out. Turner's recently released the GSD. It has a variety of uses and configurations that make it one of the most versatile bikes on the market today. And I would bet that this bike is going to influence the design of many other bikes in the future. So what is it that makes the GSD so special and so different? Let's check it out. The Turn GSD is a long tail cargo bike. Up until now, cargo bikes have primarily been fashioned on forward cargo carrying bikes like those models from Gazelle and Risa Muller. These types of bikes are good at carrying big heavy loads, including a couple of kids, but are very cumbersome and are really hard to transport. I've never been a fan of them simply because they are too heavy at about 40 to 50 kilograms and they are impossible to transport unless you have a van. Turns concept of the GSD turns this old-fashioned cargo bike thinking on its head. By extending the rear of the bike and giving the bike a longer wheelbase, Turn have been able to install an extra long cargo rack at the back of the bike, hence the name Long Tail. At the same time, they've used 20-inch wheels that have been specially configured for this bike by Schwalbe. Schwalbe have made a 20-inch size of their Moto X tyre to fit a stronger rim assembly that allows the bike to have a carrying capacity of 200 kilograms. This gives the bike a tremendous cargo carrying capacity that allows for the cartage of an adult rider and up to two children, or a rider and a substantial amount of cargo. If the rider is 75 kilograms, then there's a permissible cargo capacity of 125 kilograms. The bike also suits a wide variety of rider heights from 150 centimeters to 195 centimeters. The GSD's geometry allows for a very relaxed, upright and comfortable riding position that reduces stress on your neck, shoulders, back and wrists. Sitting up high gives you a good view over the top of most cars and at the same time makes you more visible, making for a safer ride. The GSD has been engineered from the ground up for maximum stability, loaded or unloaded. It's been designed with a 125cm wheelbase which is 25% longer than standard e-bikes, which gives you confident and balanced handling. Thanks to small wheels, a low frame and a centrally mounted motor, the bike boasts an extremely low centre of gravity and a very smooth and comfortable ride. Bosch's Purion controller is standard with its sleek, minimalist design. You can control the power setting, turn the front and the rear lights on, activate the walk mode and access the various trip computer functions. The GST complies with EN 15194, therefore in our part of the world, which is the state of New South Wales in Australia, these bikes are classified as pedal X and comply with the same requirements as push bikes. The GSD is an e-bike powered by choice of drives. At the moment, there are two Bosch drive units on offer. The GSD S10 uses Bosch's performance motor, which gives 63 newton meters of torque, or the GSD S00, which uses the Bosch CX motor, which gives 75 newton meters of torque. The GSD uses derailleur gearing and Magura four piston disc brakes front and rear. If you need extra range, the GSD is one of the few bikes that is pre-configured with Bosch's dual battery technology. The standard 400 watt hour battery can be supplemented by 400 or 500 watt hour battery, giving you the possibility to more than double the range up to a maximum of over 250 kilometers, depending of course on the terrain and the payload. There are multiple accessories for the GSD that allow you to configure the bike in a whole bunch of ways. You could pair the bike with two YEP maxi seats to transport two children between the ages of two and about six years of age. The GSD's cargo rack is designed to accept the YEP kids seats without any modification or additional adapters. You can also add a seat pad, an auxiliary handlebar and the integrated foot pegs or the optional lower deck cargo rail and use it as a step or footrest. 
The seat pad can be used to transport one person or add a YEP maxi seat to carry two children. One in the YEP seat and one on the seat pad. You can also use the GSD cargo hold pannier bags while you're transporting passengers. Another option for transporting up to two children from ages five to 10 is the clubhouse, which comes standard with two seat pads and a backrest. The GSD comes standard with a self-centering front wheel and a V-stand to make the bike very stable when loading and unloading passengers or cargo. Turn has designed a number of different racks and panniers to make transporting cargo easier. Apart from being designed to transport children, the clubhouse has also been designed to carry cargo and it's compatible with a 600 by 400 millimetre Euro crate, so it's good for hauling groceries or for doing deliveries. The cargo hold panniers are designed to be used with the Sidekick lower deck, which have a dual purpose and can be used to support the cargo hold all panniers or side steps for your rear passengers. Rounding out the cargo options, Turn has made the short bed tray to fit on the cargo rack at the back of the bike. And the transporteur rack for the front of the bike, which can also fit a crate or loose items. The GSD's versatility is highlighted by the fact that you can combine cargo with human transport. For example, you could transport two child passengers or one adult passenger and still use the panniers and the front mounted transporter rack to carry some cargo like kids school bags, shopping or a picnic lunch for the family ride. Storage is so simple that you wonder why it is not commonplace. I reckon what you're about to see will become a standard for bikes with cargo racks in the future. By incorporating a stand function into the cargo rack, you can simply tilt the bike up onto its back wheel and rest it vertically on the stand built into the cargo rack. You can drop the seat down and fold the handlebar down to give a very small footprint that means the GSD can be stored with minimal space in garages, apartments or small living areas. Transporting a traditional cargo bike is almost impossible without a large van. The GSD solves this problem by using smaller wheels and a stretched wheelbase with a long cargo rack. This means that the GSD is no longer than a normal full-sized bike. Therefore, you can use an e-bike compatible tow bar mounted rack for the transporting the GSD. With carriers from the likes of Tula, you could transport two GSDs at once on your tow bar as long as your tow bar is rated to take the load. Putting the GSD into a large SUV is also possible when you rotate the front wheel 180 degrees, fold down the handlebar and drop the seat post to its lowest position. So to summarise, the GSD is an incredibly practical bike that can be used for a variety of purposes. It's very comfortable to ride and coupled with Bosch's line of performance motors they can reduce the effect of any hill. It's the most versatile bike on the market today, combining the practicality of a people mover and a cargo carrier into one bike. On top of that, it's actually a really nice bike to ride. If you want to know more about the Turn GSD, give me a call or send me an email. Form and Design is a premium turn dealer and we have been selling e-bikes since 2005. I'm Andrew from Foreman Design. Thanks for watching.